Is it an idea against the name Trodier? I guess I shall for the quartier be a trium. Nigel gazing in name Tro. I guess it is legon for a penny for him called Archie. Nigel gets it, say. Brand a champion, twenty twenty eight, no Gragana flag. Or they are brand here, but two or time grew a muqua. I'm here, but time I'm ending a political career. Brand Nigel gazing me. Say your main cabby beyond Shreno, Cacran or Copa or Brian Wedgie Nigel. Yamin or catch us a drum, I'm a bear president, or on one, I catch us a Brian and swear president. Mr. Nigel gets in the front. I answer, Grand Uncle Crown for any quality. Hey, Nigel, what Jimmy or Mobaco? What's your name? What's your four o'clock now? So many of us. Hey! Bible and going back to Baumi and Alan. Okay. Yeah. I mean, in 2024, it's going to be quite a quite a contest. Mm -hmm. um, I've spoken to a number of um, um, big wigs in yeah. the NDC who are all as a prophet. This is what this is what I saw. Oh, as a prophet, this is what I saw. The Lord opened my eyes, and I saw that. Now vice president was wearing the shoes of the now president. Okay. But I didn't see it past 2024. So it's loaded. Mm -hmm. And this, I saw it about a year ago. I've said it in my church. We didn't let it come out. I'm repeating again. I'm the leader of prophetic. I saw prophetically that the now president, Dr. Baumia, mm -hmm. was wearing the shoes of the now president, His Excellency Naneku Fuado. But I didn't see it past 2024 what does that mean so what it means is that anything can happen within this time to 2024 where dr baumia will be the president but i was clear in the spirit the lord carried me well the president travels and he's here he becomes no i'm not speaking academically i'm not <laughs> speaking with the mm. wisdom of men okay i'm speaking spiritual okay and i've seen that more than four or five times and you don't expect it to travel beyond no I, it's not me not expecting it i didn't see it Going beyond. going beyond 2024. In other words, if he if he contests on the ticket of the NPP in 2024, he will lose. No, this is just the clear vision I saw. Okay. And it's loaded, like I said, from my past experience, I'm being circumspect. But what I saw, there's a gentleman I saw, I've never met him. If he's listening, oh, if you will listen, he should vie for the presidency and flag bearership, if that's the word. In the NPP. Brian, a champion. He won't get to 2024, but I saw 2028. Brian, a champion. Yes, I saw it. And I've seen it. I've seen Become it. Become president or the yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. flag bearer of the yeah. NPP. He should, he should not wait for 2028. He, he should, should start now. Start at 2024. 2020, oh, 2024. Yeah, tw yeah. Tw tw he should, if they open up their flag bearer, blah, mm. blah, blah. Mm. Yes, yeah. Blah, he, blah. Should, he should contest. He, he will lose. He will not get it. But 2028, I saw him holding the Ghana flag. And he should take off himself. Yeah, that's what I saw. Okay. Yeah, but take this. <laughs> I saw it, but I'm being careful. But, in, but for the NDC, you still see. Oh, uh, John, the, John, John Mahama will be president before I die. I'm Nigel Gates, and I'm not dying now. In the fullness of time, Nana, John Kwame Dramani will be president before. I have seen it so many times. Mm. And again, it's just what well, was a twatting and subversion of the will of God. He should have been there. And again, the former president, Kwame Dramani, is too calm. He is too calm. What's wrong with that? Uh, it, it's, it's okay. That's okay. Nana, it's too early. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. You're against violence, aren't you? Yeah, very well so. Okay. Mm. Uh, so when did being too calm become... No, no. Uh, the calmness here means that... Uh, I'm not talking about the radical, fanatical... Okay. Yes, but then... Uh, uh, politics is ionic and draconic. Uh, when you are too gentle, what does yours can be taken away from you? Right, you've been you've been talking a lot about. Um, uh, no, no, let me Ibuakwa, run. Ibuakwa, let, Ibuakwa, me run let me run away. Uh, no, can, don't worry. You've been talking a lot about Ibuakwa State College. Yes, please. Can you sing their anthem? Susu bibi, susu bibi, susu bibi, oni pay. That's what I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have a mystery question. For okay, you. sure. So you read it out. You open it. You read it out, and then you answer the question. Okay. And now, the mystery question. Okay. 
uh, which of these senior pastors do you admire the most and why? Bishop Ajinasari, Archbishop Duncan Williams, Dr. Mensah Otabel. It's Archbishop Duncan Williams. Why? Because he's radical, and I'm radical. His sermon turns me on, drives me on more than all the others. But again, may I say that all these three people, Bishop Ajinasari, Dr. Mensah Otabel, they are fathers of faith, they are generals, and we admire them, we learn from them, and they've done very well. But to choose the three of them, Papa Archbishop Duncan Williams stands tall for me. I pray for him, I love him, and I pray for all of them. And we thank them for allowing themselves to be a voice over our life and a voice in our time. So what they did, that's what we are looking on to do more. Okay. Mm. You have a personal relationship with any of them? Yeah, yeah, I have a direct relationship. But maybe he might not be okay if I put it put out. It out. Yes, I have some that I personally even prophesied to them, pray for them. They give me, yeah, one, yeah, I do that. Okay. Yes, Thank you very much for Thank you, Nana. What's your favorite, you, your favorite food again? Uh, uh, fufu and it's abenkwa. fufu and abenkwa, Okay. Yeah. And if you want to hang out in Accra, where do you go? I don't have hangout. I don't, don't hang out. You hang out at home? My life is radio, home, and church. What a life. It's, yeah, I don't, have, I, I don't have. And so sometimes when people are writing and saying things, and we, we just say that we, we forgive them, we pray for them. The Lord should be gracious unto them. Please. Please. Between Anado and John Mahama, who do you love the most? I love all. <laughs> but the Bible says so. You're so, you're so cool. Mm. <laughs> you're so sleek. Mm, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Which Anna. of them do you love the most? I think that I have a mandate okay. to make sure that John Muhammad becomes a president. So you like him most? Yes. I, I love, the Bible says you can't love God and Mammon. So I love John Muhammad because the Lord told me so. To love him? To love him. You understand? Not, not really love him. The tr through me, a major prophecy has come. Mm -hmm. So uh, as a result of that, I'll be a little bit biased towards Naneku Fuado. But I wish he was in my father. I wish he was in my family. I wish I have a direct link with him. With Nana. Yes, Nana. Nana. So that's Nana. it. Yeah. Okay. I asked you a question earlier. You didn't answer it. All right, sure. About your, your who's, apart from you, mm -hmm. which other prophet would you say is true to the letter? True to the letter. Give me two names. Two names. Prophet Osubempa and my spiritual father. Who's your Apostle Kufir Free He's in the UK. Okay. Yeah. These two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. There are more. Like I was saying that the Ghanaian prophet are the, are the best prophets. When they talk about prophetic. Because, uh, so why are all the popular, and correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, please. Every single popular man of God we know yeah. is not broke. You're not paupers. Um, you will say, yes, the blessing of the Lord is on you. And I'm happy that the blessing of the Lord is on all of you. But how do you justify that you have a member of a, a, your congregation whose situation remains the same, for instance, in your church for five years. And in that five years, you see that the livelihood of the, the, the leader of the church and the people around him, his family, keep improving. I mean, how do you explain that? Because I try to juxtapose the two. I see people constantly trekking, sometimes by road. Some people are hitchhiking to church. And you see the pastor this year driving, for instance, a car for power. <laughs> <laughs> driving a Corolla. Yeah. The next year they're driving a Bentley. Then there is there is a Rolls Royce, and it's constantly in our faces, in the faces of your congregants. Uh, bless them. They they have no qualms. Obviously, they have no qualms. Um, I mean, you're wearing a Rolex. Isn't Thank it? you. You're wearing a Rolex, sure. aren't you? Um, your shirt is not is not. Um, is not it's not Galasso, Angelo Galasso. Well, light a light. <laughs> <laughs> you came here in a Land Cruiser 2021 Land Cruiser. Um, you're, not, you're not broke, all right? But how do you explain to your ordinary congregant who sometimes hasn't even got one city mm. for offertory mm, okay. this lifestyle? Okay, thank you, Nana. Is it still the blessing of the Lord. Yes. Why does God love some people more than others? Okay, thank you, Nana. Once upon a time, mm -hmm. I was a shoe shine boy. Okay. Once upon a time, I was selling cassava, tomatoes, and onion. What? Because my mom in a slam down. Okay. We, we, yeah, you mentioned that. Yes. Sorry. To do well or not to do well is a decision. It's to do well or not. We have a lot of men of God that are broke. But they have not decided to do well. We don't know them. 
yes like i said like okay the few that are out there if you are the i mean we can then but there are a lot of men of god that are broke the and and deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19 it said this day i the lord i put before you good and bad choose good so as you live i put before you life and death choose life so as you live now now some of us when my, they brought me from the village, as a man gets it to Accra. That's where you're yeah, from? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm a queer man from Latte. Okay. Do you they, speak the language? Very well, sir. Okay. Yes, please. They said, yeah, but me call and they buy. Anybody that did know me in Abusco, if I, when I was in Lagos, I was sleeping in the toilet room, where we call the tea room in the Kwafu NSB, to uh, Fatih Abubakar, officer of the president, knows me. We are friends, very close friends. I used to sleep in the TV room. To do well, Nana, is a decision. You can be a believer and still be broke and you still make it to heaven. So if you don't follow the violent, what I call the violent radical principles and virtues where the Bible admonishes all of us to, to follow. In fact, you, you will still be poor. Because Jesus even said in the gospel that the poor will always be with us. But to be poor or not to be poor is a decision. I don't believe that my mom is not, is, is, did, not, did not help me so I should not make it. I don't believe that my rotation. I don't believe that. The same Bible, the same God has made. Bible says the So manner. the difference is a mindset. It's the mindset. The, 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 I decided at the age of 14 to do well. It is a decision. Some are more anointed than me and they are fooling. <laughs> like? Oh, just to, I don't want to mention, today I came in a, <laughs> in a dove way. Right. The next I will come in in the in the in the, yeah that is if you invite me again, please. i will thank you certainly thank you okay so that's your experience no, it's, it's, so, so if there's a young girl so, so there, if if you've, you 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 say that it is a decision it's to a do decision. well it's a decision to, to do well there are some who have made the decision to do well yet decision and destiny has a correlation okay if you as i'm sitting here circumstances can change let me step out let me do a thing that will drive me back it, it will change there is nothing that is constant. It's only the word of God that is constant. No circumstance is... Once upon a time, Gaddafi was the most powerful person in Africa. But where is Gaddafi? He, was, he, he died like a regular man. He took a decision. He should have left. Maybe if he still want to build an empire, the son should have taken over. But his decision, selfish... You understand? So to do well... Nana, you chose. I've read uh, before coming here, so I read about you. No, oh, you did. Yes, why I read about you. Why would you do that? There's nothing. Yeah, there's I, nothing to read about me. No, because I'm coming. It's all well, balderdash. I'm coming to an interview, and uh -huh. I mean, in Ghana, you are one of the top notch. Uh -huh. You understand? Even I'll say that in the world, the ladies, I, I shall, I pray, I shall see say in CNN is my daughter, and you are far better than most of them. Uh -huh. You understand? Bless so, you from thank, your lips to God. Thank you. So, <laughs> so I read about you. You're from. You two have gone through your hard times. Of course. You could have said, I'll give up. Mm. I tell people that there must be something called a drive, inner. It doesn't matter whether somebody helped you, nobody helped you. Dr. Buedu Nyamiche, we, we, my lighting in my church, I picked it from his church. Right. If, it, if I was somebody, I'd say, oh, why do? We learn. I learn from, I learn. I listen to his messages. Mm. I learn. So somebody will be there and the person will be wallowing the person will be wallowing. Nobody has sympathy for you if you want to still wallow in poverty. Right. You understand? So what do you what do you think about Reverend Obofo? Reverend Obofo, superb guy, blessed guy, mm -hmm. superb. Are you friends? Yeah, we are friends. Good okay. friends. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>